Greetings, it's Matt here from Camelot Classic Cars, and today we will be looking at a W1 Carter carburetor. The W1 Carter carburetor was used from the 1930s all the way up until 1949 or 1950 on the Chevrolet straight six engines, typically the 216 cubic inch. This particular one came off of a 1946 Chevrolet, and we've been noticing that it's been leaking a lot of gas particularly right around out of this area, the top cover of the well. And the most common cause of this problem is typically a float that has gone bad. So let's take this cover off and we'll demonstrate what we found. This is just a quick video. Right here we see a hole right in the float. And what that does is fluid has been getting into the float, sinking it, meaning that uh, fuel has been coming in uncontrollably from the needle valve. So just some basics here, what we're going to be looking at uh, in our Carter carburetor, or any carburetor for that matter, is we have the float. This moves up and down as fuel goes into the well of the carburetor. When the fuel reaches the top or pushes the float up, it closes the needle valve, which is right here. When the fuel is consumed, the float drops down, opens the needle valve, and this process goes on and on, over and over as the float continues to go up and down through buoyancy. Of course, when the float has a hole in it, it's staying in the down position. There is no shutoff for the fuel. It comes in, eventually fills up the well, and then will spill on over. So that is basic principles of a carburetor and how a float works. In this case, a simple replacement of the float with a new unit, which I have an example of right here. They're made out of brass. Here we see our new float. Uh, fully intact. That is all this carburetor is going to need, probably with a, just a tune-up of a new gasket set, and this carburetor will be right back to where it should be. Thanks for tuning in.